and I'm just eating a salad really quickly in my car. I'm treating myself to new shoes. We went very heavy on the spicy pickles. I am loving these new shoes. My pace is actually a lot quicker. I slept at my parents' house, so we are doing the way in here. Okay. So this is what I got as a little mini haul today. It is Monday and it's post time change so my schedule's off. I was at my parents all weekend and this is a lot of crackers but there was a sale. These are usually $5.99. I got them for $1.99 so I just stocked up because we love them for charcuterie. This is to make a arugula tomato flatbread that I've made before and I have avocados to put on it as well and then I got meats and cheeses and tzatziki and veggies for snacking and for charcuterie. So we'll probably do another haul on like Thursday, a big grocery haul, but for now, this is just to kind of keep us satisfied the next few days. And of course, a lot longer with the crackers. <laughs> it's March 11th, and I believe this is the anniversary of when I posted my 75 hard video last year that really had my channel take off and got me monetized. And we're doing 75 soft currently. I am walking on my walking pad and I'm doing it in socks, which I occasionally do, but this time it's because I left my shoes at my parents. They live two hours away. So <laughs> I need to get some new running shoes. I'm just taking this as a sign from the universe that it was time for me to get new shoes. And we are done. Tonight's dinner is a charcuterie board and I mixed it up and did tzatziki instead of ranch. March 12th. It is in the 60s today. I'm so excited for spring. We are on a walk. Unfortunately, my watch is dead. Tonight's dinner, another charcuterie board that we are splitting. We went very heavy on the spicy pickles. hour-long hike complete for dinner i have a flatbread with mozzarella tomato arugula and avocado and veggies with tzatziki dip thursday march 14th yeah. we brought hanker with us Hi, buddy. Pepperoni pizza for pie day. The camera did not eat first. Hanker is getting ornery. March 15th. So it's crazy because today is day 75, but obviously if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, you know I got very sick like mid to late February and missed a few days. I just was not doing well at all. So not only am I gonna extend this a few days, I'm actually just gonna extend it like another week. Um, so today is Friday, March 15th, and a week from tomorrow is my sister's wedding. So I just figured I'll do an extra week just to keep getting in my exercise, keep getting my water and eating healthy. And obviously I wanna continue these habits after the fact as well. Time for breakfast. And of course, I'm on my second cup of coffee. Okay, for lunch, I'm making a flatbread. I love these flatbreads. These stone fire pizza crusts are 350 calories each. 
and it's a good serving size. And then for this one, I just do a little bit of mozzarella on the bottom and half of a large tomato to fully cover it. There's no oil because the juice from the tomato kind of acts as like the oil as the base. And then I'm gonna add arugula and avocado and it is so delicious. This looks absolutely amazing. It's very easy to make. It takes like 10 minutes for the oven to heat up and then 10 minutes for the flatbread to cook and a few minutes to just whip all together. I'm very excited, I'm about to go eat. All right, I'm treating myself to new shoes. I just don't know what to get. So I love my dog Hank, but I decided to go on a walk by myself today and it is so peaceful. My pace is actually a lot quicker and I'm just roaming around, music blaring. It's beautiful, the air feels great. I feel bad because I might start doing a few more of these. <laughs> It is so peaceful out. I don't know if it's the weather or the fact that it's 7.30 on a Friday. I have not passed anyone walking and I love it. I'm like really thriving right now. 50 minutes. Friday night charcuterie board. Reading on my porch is my favorite thing. It makes reading a lot more enjoyable. So I'm very excited that the weather is starting to get better. And it's March 16th. I've done a very slow walk, but I'm working on a speech I have to give next week. So we're multitasking right now. Chipotle for lunch. morning coffee with some creamer. We are pretty much out of food right now. So this charcuterie board is just what is at my house. And it ran us out of the cheese, the pickles, we're out of apples. This is all the veggies we had left. We desperately need to go to the grocery store. But for now, this is our Sunday lunch on St. Patrick's Day. Some wildflowers on our walk. So pretty. 30 minute walk complete. All right, finished my 45 minutes. I'm working from home today. So for lunch, I have this Campbell's chicken noodle soup, which is 260 calories. And then a very small charcuterie board. I did half a serving of the turkey pepperoni, half a little single serve package of crackers, a little bit of nuts and some cheese. So about 300 to 350 calories for that. So all in right around 600 calories for lunch. It's March 18th, I worked from home. So I finished up my day with walking on my walking pad and responding to emails. Also, I am loving these new shoes. homemade minestrone and carrots for lunch. I'm currently running errands. I have to get my eyebrows done for my sister's wedding. And I'm just eating a salad really quickly in my car. Things are crazy right now. I feel like I have no time for anything. It's so good. Okay, so let's chat. I am officially done with 75 Soft and this is the second time I've done it. And I don't know if I would say it was more or less successful than the first time, but it was definitely different. It's been a few weeks. It's actually been almost two months now since I completed the challenge and I've just been slowly uploading the remaining videos. And I wanted to see what would stick and what habits would keep after finishing the challenge. I can say that reading has not stuck at all and I'm not surprised. I don't enjoy reading. I wish I did. I see the comments of trying audiobooks and 
I love podcasts. That is one thing I do like to listen to when I'm cleaning, when I'm driving, when I'm walking around just with my headphones on. Reading is just something I've never been able to get into. So I wasn't that surprised with that habit. Water, I am really good with. Drinking a lot more water is something that I have stuck with ever since I tried 75 hard like a year and a half ago at this point. Nearly, yeah, a year and a half ago. Ever since then, I always have a water with me. I am drinking so much water, which is amazing, and I've actually noticed a ton of benefits since really starting to focus on my water intake, which now it's less of a focus and it's more you know, it's just unconscious. It's just something where I grab my water and I like to have one with me. I feel like my skin has improved so much. My hair grows really quickly. Could these things be coincidences? Sure, but I have really noticed a lot of improvement drinking more water. When it comes to diet, I obviously am not perfect. One of my favorite things to do is go out to eat. It is like my favorite favorite thing I love the whole experience of being in a restaurant I love like date nights with my husband so that is something where obviously I don't know exactly what's being put into the food I don't know the exact calorie count and it's something that I do want to continue to get better with but just watching what I'm eating and improving what I'm eating overall working out I feel okay <laughs> about my workouts the what has stuck with me let's start there i go on a lot more walks than i used to pre doing 75 soft again the best outcome of this challenge i mean i've lost like 10 pounds and kept off the 10 pounds consistently but the best outcome of this challenge has been that my dog hank gets very consistent walks not just for me from my husband as well we both have gotten into such a flow i would say of walking hank and obviously we all benefit from that it's amazing to get fresh air it's great to walk around and meet neighbors and i would say just a ton of benefits from doing that and of course it wears out our dog which is amazing because he's got a lot of puppy energy the more intense workouts I actually feel like when I work out every day and then I stop the challenge stops I feel that I overcorrect and I'm looking for a break and I'm looking for some time off so I do think I did that and as far as using my walking pad I have not used my walking pad in a minute it like it has been a while when I'm working from home I don't like to use it I just feel like I got kind of burnt out on using it and using it and using it and using it I have done some other things so I have worked out in my workout room on my elliptical on my treadmill since the challenge stopped a few different times I did recently get one of those steppers that you see on TikTok right now all over the place and I do really enjoy it and I'm just working on more like mindful movement of choosing to do some of the chores that require walking around more so I want some more steps I'm gonna vacuum just trying to incorporate more everyday movement into my life and I think that is going to be more helpful. I have been stalled at like 297, 197, 198 for, I don't know, a month and a half at this point. It has been a while. During the challenge, the lowest I hit was 192, which was when I was really sick and it just, it wasn't going to keep. Obviously, I was sleeping all the time and just eating soup and drinking Gatorade. So, Obviously, I'm not done. I want to keep it going. I think I need to just keep working out and keep doing these little changes without doing the weekly vlogs. I, of course, will keep doing videos. I love YouTube. I love posting my journey out there. And I really hope this stuff is motivating to anyone out there. That's my goal with this, with all of this. Because when I was in college and struggling with my weight, I looked up videos on YouTube and found some creators I really liked 
and it was motivating to see other people go through these challenges and be so vulnerable and share their experiences and that has been my goal the entire time and I don't know if I've ever really shared that but it is kind of difficult when you're not seeing results we week after week having to rate the videos and post uploads and wondering like if I'm disappointing people and I don't want to do that but at the same time I don't want to lie about my weight and where it's at and I haven't had progress in weeks like I, I've been pretty stagnant I would love to get into the 180s but I haven't yet so I'm gonna keep working thank you for watching this video if you made it this far I truly appreciate you so much please subscribe to my channel if you want to follow along with my journey if you want to keep up with my videos that would mean so much to me but if you don't want to you can just check in time to time if you want to just see what i'm doing i would appreciate that too well thanks so much for watching whatever your goals are right now you can do it i believe in you and i will see you next time bye